1.6, which is a productivity problem. As you can see, this problem has two time periods, last year and now. So that will make it a multi-period problem. It also has four inputs, labor, resin, capital, and energy. So that makes it a multi-factor productivity calculation. So the number of inputs is four. The number of time periods are two. So you have last year, and you have now. You have labor, you have resin, you have capital, and you have energy. Now the output did not change. It was a thousand units last year. And it's a thousand units this year. The labor was 300 units of labor last year, 275 this year. Resin was 50 kilograms last year, and it's gone down to 45 this year. The capital, you spent $10,000 on capital last year. That would be things like equipment or an investment. This year you spent 11,000 and the energy went from 3,000 BTUs to 2,850. So how you would read this on the far right hand side under productivity increase, labor increased at 9.09%. Resin had an 11. 1% increase to productivity. Capital had a decrease because you spent more money, but you made the same number of units. So it had a 9.09% decrease. And energy went up at 5.26%. And that would give you your productivity increases and decreases by individual factors. We can't calculate the overall effect because we do not have a cost. And as I mentioned in your lecture, if you don't have costs, you can't add labor hours to resin kilograms. You would have to convert them to a common denominator, which would be dollars. So that's how you would do a multi-period and multi-factor productivity calculation.